So if you don't breathe and play in the same level of weight with constant um, some, some sort of inhalation, kind of holding on your breath all the time, then after some time your hands will just suffocate. <laughs> so you simply can't play fast this way uh, without getting stiff. And um, so as you can see uh, on the left side, uh, there are um, motif slurs uh, with the last more prominent interval. And on the right side, um, this is kind of my attempt <laughs> to create a breathing pattern that I have. And that breathing pattern is aligned with the slurs. And uh, the same you can see with the pattern of phrases and the red snore is more prominent motif in a, motif in a phrase. And um, again, exhalation here is more like some sort of expansion that I would feel while breathing. I was trying to trace it and it's not exactly like I would exhale, but somehow I would kind of expand my, my lungs, my diaphragm. I don't know what is it, but it feels like exhalation. And with the sentences, uh, and you can see red prominent phrases, it works the same way. Now, when I'm saying breathing in and uh, bringing out, it doesn't mean that you need to start doing it artificially. It doesn't work this way. Um, basically, it's a natural sensation that you get while making phrasing with intonation and weight. Uh, because when you make the full phrasing with motifs, phrases and sentences, you would also start naturally adjust the depth of your breathing. Um, you know, breathing in and out more or less, or most of the time it's um, some sort of a weird mix of deep exhalation with breathing in at the same time, or deep inhalation with breathing out at the same time. So it's very confusing to explain and probably could never do that, but it's something like this. So the bottom line is, it's impossible to control it artificially from the outside. And that won't let you focus on any other tasks, by the way. So breathing is just a good side effect, let's call it this way, of internal singing with phrasing. That's all.